So I wanted to create a quick video on the difference between sweaty uh, palms and dry palms, okay? So if you have the sweaty palms, that is a condition called palmar hyperhidrosis, and that is a sympathetic dominant situation. There's two parts of the autonomic nervous system. You have the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The sympathetic is the flight or fight, and part of that system is involved controlling different glands, uh, the sweat glands, and that's really what's behind sweaty palms. So what can you do about it? Well, realizing that it's an overactive adrenal, anything that you do to help your adrenal is gonna be a good thing. There's another condition called POTS, okay, which involves uh, one of the symptoms is getting up too fast and you're feeling really dizzy. That is also a sympathetic dominant situation. Uh, a person who startles easily or they can't tolerate stress would, would have sympathetic dominance. Uh, one key vitamin that supports that part of the nervous system is vitamin B1. Uh, I put a link down below. Another treatment that seems to get pretty good results is called iontophoresis. I'm not recommending a certain machine. You're gonna have to do the research on that, but you should look this up. Um, it seems to be very, very successful. Now, dry palms. Okay, this has to do with a vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A deficiencies will also cause dry eyes, but also dry hands. And you usually see these people putting tons of lotion on the hand, and it lasts maybe like a minute, and then it dries out again. What you should look at is uh, vitamin A, okay, and, and, and your diet. And are you consuming foods that have high vitamin A, and are you avoiding foods that are depleting vitamin A? Uh, vitamin A is in fish oils, especially olive oil. It's in fatty fish, beef liver, it's in animal products, it's in dairy, uh, it's in butter, egg yolks, those foods, which, you know, a lot of people do consume fat in their diet, but usually it's the other foods that are countering that process, okay? So let's say you're consuming a lot of refined uh, foods or sugar that is messing with your liver or your gallbladder, and then the gallbladder doesn't work, or you're consuming too much alcohol, that can affect the gallbladder and liver, that alone will prevent vitamin A from being absorbed, okay? It could also be a problem with your digestion internally, some inflammatory um, condition in your colon that will not let you absorb vitamin A and causing this dryness. Now, the last point I wanna bring up is that if you use lotion on a regular basis, the fact that you're using the lotion, which usually has either alcohol in it or some other solvent in there, uh, you're gonna have to stop that for a while before your skin can heal because it, if it pulls out the oil, it's gonna dry up despite how much vitamin A you're consuming. So you're gonna to have to avoid putting lotion on your hand for a while. You may wanna put some vitamin E oil in your hand as a temporary thing to start healing the skin simply because all the oils are pulled out and vitamin E is a really good oil to put back into the skin. And I think a lot of people have this idea that if I have dry skin, I'm dehydrated. But in actuality, it's usually um, low fats either in the diet or you're not absorbing the fats. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.